So we've got a fluoroscopy picture uh, on the, the left, or an x-ray picture of the posterior back part of the iliac crest. So we'll mark that area with a marker here. And we're going to provide uh, judicial anesthesia to the area uh, with lidocaine and numb up the skin uh, and tissues behind the iliac crest. Sir, there will be a little poke on your back here, okay? And a little pinch. This can ache a little bit. Doing really well. How you doing? Good. And we're going to numb it just a little bit deeper here. A little spinal needle. Picture there. Good. And a little ache. Feel just a little poke here, make a little nick incision. And picture here, please. Good. I feel a little ache here. We gently advance this down underneath uh, onto the iliac crust. And there are centimeter markers on the needles. You can see how far you're advancing. Picture here. Good. What we'll do is we'll tap this in just a little bit to establish a purchase. Picture here. Picture here. Good. A little tap, a little ache. And that will establish purchase there. And one more picture. Good. A little tapping here. Picture there. You can see a nice coaxial technique coming into the iliac crest. Picture there, please. How you doing? A little pressure. I can ache just a little bit. How are you doing? Get quick pressure here. And in between aspirations, we rotate the bevel of the needle. Just we're in a little bit different part of the iliac crest here. A little ache. So once we draw out a period of, uh, uh, of the iliac crest, we advance it just a little bit further to get into a different uh, channel. And this can be very pressure filled for the patient. It creates a little bit of a negative suction inside the iliac uh, crest. So we have our 60 cc's of marrow. We're going to reinsert the cannula. And a little pressure. And then we'll end up covering uh, this incision with a band-aid.